Hi everyone, um, I, this is probably my last day I've got to record before I go back to uni. So I'm going to try and make the most of it. Um, my game is going to be crap against that lot. I'll go with uh, Andrew, I think. Um, so I'm going to try and get as many recorded as possible. I sh I've got enough for one a week. Hopefully I'll be able to do more like two a week. But we'll see how many I can get recorded today. Um, anyway, just doing double battles with my heart gold bus. Um, right, Giratina's... Anyway, um, sleep powder on Giratina. Actually, I might take that back. Um, no, I'm not too worried about Giratina, strangely. I'm more worried about... Um, the very from foreign Simia Braz, um, who I will both fake out and sleep out. Uh, fake out to keep and be bomb alive. And yeah, that's my first turn. I mean, Giratina's a pain, but it's defensive, and plus I can't fake it out. Um, so either way, I was faking out a but um, with Ambi bomb. I call it a by bomb. I'm sure, pretty sure I've called it a by bomb before. It's just how I've always thought it was called. So yeah, uh, Dark Pulse it's Butterfree and that just shows Giratina really isn't that scary offensively. Unless you get its origin form I think it is. I can't remember which way round it is. Um, right, as for what to do, if Giratina's going to attack Butterfree that I'm going to protect. And I'm going to return on uh, Simia Brass. I might as well call him by the name they've got. I'm facing quite a few people with foreign Pokemon. It's quite strange to have a foreign Inferno, I suppose. I mean, with the legendaries, I can see you definitely want to trade for them if you get a foreign one. You're not too bothered, but um, Inferno might uh, not be hard to trade for one. Even if you do get one, you can always breed it, so. I don't know. You know they might be foreign and they trade and they got an English Giratina. I don't know. Just gotta wait for them to make their choice on what they're gonna do. Um, I can't expect your teams to go back. So I'm not um, Inferno, but no. Um, that's free. Gets off protect and is nice and happy. And it's shield and invincibility. Um, a bomb by bomb shows that normal types can beat up fighting types if you know what you're doing. Actually, I think it has knocked it out as well. Yep. So there you go, normal type beats up fighting type. I was fast in it anyway, which was the reason I slept there, I wasn't sure I'd be faster. Oh, you're targeting A by Pom this time. Fair enough. I call it A by Pom again, it's Ambi Pom. I know, Ambi is in ambidextrous because it's got two hands. Yeah, very clever fun, but I still got A by Pom, which I guess is by bi like bisexual, which is two. So yeah, two hands, there you go. Um, Rayquaza, I know just how to treat Rayquaza. Um, I'm going to try and sleep powder it. Meanwhile, Ambi Pom will try and get a nasty plot off. And we'll see how that goes. Again, Cheer Team just seems to be using Dark Pulse, which isn't that scary, so I'm just going to let it keep using Dark Pulse. Um, it seems to take off a solid third of my Pokemon's health in each hit, which is <laughs> quite painful, but it's nothing I'm about to scream about. It's not like it's super effective getting critical hits all the time or anything, it's not putting nasty status on me. And uh, yeah, nasty plot. So Ambi Mom gets a clever idea, which is probably to be named correctly. Um Outrage, which yeah that hurts. But at least they can't choose their target, which is of some advantage, but um yeah Ambi Mom doesn't like being hit by outrage. Rayquaza does nasty outrages. Um, Giratina vanishes instantly, obviously targeting Butterfree. And Rayquaza is going to have a lovely time sleeping. Um, so I'm going to send up Dugong. Just thinking, Shadow. I can't remember if Ghost is good against Dark. I have a feeling it's the other way around. So I'm going to swap Butterfree out for Hunch Crow. Because I have a feeling. Dark's good against 
that was good against ghosts, so therefore ghosts probably isn't good against dark. And Ice Beam the sleeping Rayquaza, because <laughs> Rayquaza really doesn't like Ice Beam. I'm not sure if you've ever heard about Dragon Flying's four times weakness to ice. It's pretty much the reason why every single team has ice moves. And um, anyway, Butterfree's done an admirable job, and hopefully Punch Crow can take a um, Giratina's attack. Rayquaza is happily sleeping. Shadow Force comes off. It's a shame Ambipom was knocked out because otherwise I could have swapped him for Ambipom. But anyway, not very effective. It's yeah, it's not very effective. Perfect. And Ice Beam. Rayquaza might not go down. Ah, no, it does go down. Dugon's got. It's not the most special attack. It's more of defensive Pokemon than an offensive one, but it's still a stab ice beam with four times weakness. It takes things out quite well. Um it's cold in this room. Um right, okay. Elect four. Right. Okay, um I'm gonna go sucker punch on Giratina because I just think they're gonna spam attacks. And Dugong, I've only got a choice of using Dugong or switching out to a different type which is weak to electricity so I'm just going to Ice Beam it and I'm going to lose the speed race but I just hope that they use Thunder and Miss or something. Anyway, yeah, as I expected they're going to be using just plain attack so Sucker Punch comes off and hits Giratina for a fair bit of damage. Um, Discharge might not be powerful enough to take out both my Pokemon, but it could well be. Um, yeah, Hunch Crow goes down. And if Dugon's taking Giratina's attack on top, it's probably not going to be in the best state. And it doesn't go down, so at least I get an Ice Beam off, unless Dark Pulse finishes it off. Nope. Okay, so at least I get Ice Beam off. And let's see how much damage it does. Only two times effectiveness. No, not enough. Um, yeah, Butterfree, I basically got the choice of Protect, which will stop Butterfree from dying this turn. But I also have the slight problem of dying next turn. Or I can try and get a Sleep Powder off on their, um, well, either of their Pokemon, really. But basically, they've won at this point. Um, I don't think Butterfree's going to be faster than either of them. So. Possibly Chiratina, but it's definitely not fast on Zapdos. And Zapdos is discharged will knock both my Pokemon out, so yeah, down goes Butterfree. At least Giratina got paralyzed. A bit late, but hey. Um anyway, Jugon's about to go down, critical hit just to be needless. I always seem to find that critical hits always happen when you don't need them. It's a weird thing. Anyway, um that's all for this time. I shall see you next time.